Hi, Charles Stevenson, hypnotherapist, coach to the masses. Um, just a quick post here to mention about something that crops up in many people's lives. If it crops up in yours or a friend of yours, it can be dealt with. It's the A word, anxiety. Yeah, anxiety. And it crops up in various ways. Many times people would say, well, I'm not anxious, I'm just... And you fill in the blanks. I'm not anxious, I'm just a bit of a worrier. I'm just not anxious. I just sort of, you know, just plan for the worst just in case. I'm not anxious, but, well, you never know what's going to go wrong and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you or someone you know thinks that way, I'm going to call it what it is. It's crap. It's actually anxiety. Now, that's a low-level anxiety. I appreciate that. Other people's anxiety is the kind of anxiety that stops them going out, stops them perhaps driving a car, stops them even sitting in a car. Um, fear of lifts. It could be an anxiety tied into a fear of lift. But it's a separate fear as well. And anxiety crops up in various places. And it's bubbling all the time in someone's mind. Um, it influences that person in so many ways. And because they've got the feeling of anxiety, and perhaps that's you, if it's there, it affects so many things that you'll think of doing. I can't go here because. I can't go there because. It might be that you will take a longer route to get somewhere rather than take hop on the bus and go somewhere between towns say you're in london you want to get from one end of say tottenham court road to the other you might end up walking rather than taking the tube rather than going on the taxi rather than taking a bus because your brain is running loads of thoughts what if this happens what if that happens or perhaps you're watching the television and boom up comes a news story about a mugging a stabbing an attack and your brain goes off on one perhaps you're worried about your friends your uncle, your aunt, maybe some grandchildren, maybe your son or your daughter's at uni and you're thinking, oh gosh, what's going to happen to them? I bet it's going to be that. You might hear a story about something and then it feels like it could happen to you. If that's how your brain runs, well, you don't need me to tell you, but you've got anxiety. Now, other people hearing, seeing and experiencing those same situations may not react like you. And if they don't react like you, and they react in an easier way, well, I'm going to call it how I see it. You're the one with the problem, not them. It's a pattern, though. That's all it is. If you're finding yourself feeling anxious in situations where, in the cold light of day, when you look at it, you can see and imagine that other people wouldn't feel anxious, hmm, you're the one with the problem, not them. But the good news is, if they could see it differently, so could you. And it doesn't matter whether that anxiety has been with you for five years, 10 years, 20 years. I've had clients come to me with anxiety that's been bubbling for 40 plus years. So it doesn't really matter how long you've had the anxiety. And actually, being completely honest, it doesn't always matter too much where it came from. Since we don't always have to explore all the way back in time to where it came from. What's more important is your future out there. The future that you can create in an instant just by changing how your mind works. So if you're someone that has anxiety, that kind of anxiety that might give you panic attacks, palpitations, sweaty armpits, sweaty, that cold sweaty feeling in the back, that tension, eye vision going down, it's like all of a sudden you can't focus on anything, you've got that panic, you've got to get out of the room. It can stop. It can be got rid of. Now, I'm not telling you that you can change your life in an instant. Although I do know that with clients that's happened. Of course, you could be different. You could be the one it may not work with. Sure, that's okay. I haven't got a problem with that. We're all different. But don't you owe it to yourself and your family that you may not even have yet, since some people's anxiety have stopped them meeting people and settling down or is affecting the people around them, since we don't really like it when our children and grandchildren start picking up the habits we've got. So if you've got anxiety, or you know someone that's got anxiety, and you can envisage a situation where someone else in the same situation would not think the same way, they think a more calm way, a more easygoing way, then you have already identified that there's a possibility that you can change your life. Now, I don't care whether you're on medication, whether you're on therapies or not. 
the answer is within you change is possible so if you'd like to find out more about overcoming anxiety we'd love to help you and if you're outside of my distance and we can't work together and you don't want to work by phone by zoom or skype find a therapist or a coach to work with because really within a very short period of time you could change your life you could find that the anxiety that was troubling you became well it's just gone and it would be like on one occasion looking at an ice model that's been carved shaped into an amazing shape with detail where someone spent hours to create this wonderful model so many feet high and then when you look back on the next day and it's just a pool, just a pool of water on that floor. And that pool of water, you look at it and you think, I can't even imagine what it looked like. I can't even imagine experiencing what that would have been like. Anxiety can be the same way. Something that's so focused in your mind can go in an instant. And then you won't be able to remember it other than just sort of thinking, was that me? Was that really something I used to get concerned about? Nah, I don't believe it anymore. Talking bullshit. So if you'd like to explore having no more anxiety, contact me in confidence. But I'll let you into a secret. Don't tell other people who have anxiety you're looking to change. The reason is there's a bit of a clubbing together with anxiety because if you change and they don't change, they might find that awkward so you might need to decide who you're most loyal to other people with the same anxiety or yourself by that what I mean is literally that are you more important than the other people that have anxiety like you because if you are then focus on what you want your life to become Focus on what you want your life to become and we can make it happen for you. So I've got more information about anxiety on my website. More than happy to have a chat on the phone or via email or messaging for free. It's no hassle. Happy to. So if I can help you, give you some tips. Brilliant. Um, have a look on the internet. You'll find some stuff about anxiety. But be careful who you listen to. Because if somebody else in the same situation as you was not feeling anxiety or... The anxiety you've got doesn't seem to come from anywhere in particular. It's being triggered by all these different things all around you. Then I'd say you are in a brilliant place for change. Tell me what you think. Contact, comment below or contact me. And let's make your life changed. And just consider, what's the first three words that come to mind when you think of the opposite of anxiety? If you weren't feeling anxious, what would you feel if you weren't feeling anxious? How would you feel? Jot it down, tell me. Tell me how you feel. And let's see if we can find a way to allow that to be your natural state. Would you like that? It's achievable. I've done it hundreds of times before with clients. And all of them didn't believe it could happen on one level first. And then afterwards all of them thought, ah, oh, Christ. Such a change. So if you'd like to change your life, that's okay with me. I can help you. If you want to stay stuck, that's okay. Please stay stuck. But when you're ready, and it could be that you contact me 20, 30, 40 years after first hearing this. Because I've had some clients that have been with anxiety for 30 or 40 years. If you'd like to contact me and find out more about how you can change your life and let go of anxiety so it's just gone, let's have a chat. Anyhow, I've got to go because I've got some clients I'm seeing in about, yeah, about 10 minutes. So, Okay, cheerio for now.